routine, it doesn't matter how much time you're spending at the gym and how hard you're working out, if you don't have some of the intake in order. My problem is portion control. I own it. I mean, you know, when you talk about portion sizes, I remember as a kid, McDonald's french fries came in a little white envelope. That was an order of fries. There wasn't anything else. Now there's the red cardboard thing, and there's the bucket O fries. There's a number out there, if you Google it, I think a, a large order of McDonald's french fries is about four and a half times the size of an order of McDonald's french fries from when I was a kid. And they're calling that a portion. That's just not a good idea. So portion control is an area where, an easy area where somebody like me can tell you, hey, this is what we can do. One of the tricks my wife used to use when she was in that weight loss mode was, we would order food in a restaurant, the food would come, she would ask the waiter for a takeout container. She would immediately cut it in half, put it in the box, close the box, move it over, and eat half the food. So often what we're given at a restaurant, as an example, is more food than any of us really need. And it's another meal to eat tomorrow or the next day, or in a lot of cases we'll walk out the front door of the restaurant, half a block down, and hand it to a homeless person who could really use a really nice dinner, and what a great way to kind of do something nice for somebody. Um, treat your work as a workout when it comes to water. Anytime you ever see me anywhere, you're always going to see me with a water bottle, whether it's a plastic water bottle or it's something like this, something like I use at the gym. Always drinking water all day long. We're burning up a great deal of energy. We're consuming a lot of liquid, and we've got to be replacing the liquid. So you should be drinking. Water's the best thing to be drinking. You know, coffee's got a lot of water in it. I'm not a coffee drinker. You can tell I really don't need the extra caffeine, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, um, you know, lunch is an important one. Lunch falls into two categories in this conversation. How many people here are fairly confident they're going to be hungry at noon? Did that happen yesterday? Noon came and you went, food time. Is it going to happen tomorrow? It's going to be about 11.45, you're going to turn to somebody, we got to eat. Lunch has never been really a surprise for us. We're fortunate enough to live in a country of abundance where there's always been food to eat and it's always there for us. But every day in our industry, most of us treat lunch as a surprise. What am I going to do for lunch? My shop is located in a strip mall. We have a Subway, a pizza place, and a, like a 7-Eleven, a like a convenience store. That's it. Those are my choices for lunch if I don't take a proactive approach to lunch. That might mean bringing a lunch. That might mean preparing ahead of time and bringing something to eat that's better than what I'm going to get at some of my local... And oh, by the way, there's burgers and pizza on the corner. But that place, I don't think they've ever cleaned it. I'm not real comfortable eating there. Um, but treating lunch as something we know that's going to happen as opposed to an accident that happens every day at 12 and then we go, what am I going to eat today? To be a little more proactive about that. Lastly, and most importantly, and this doubles over into the mental health category is block the lunch. Block out a lunch in your appointment book and go back now tomorrow and block out a lunch every day for the rest of the year so that you actually take the lunch. Lunch is not only a time to pause for necessary nutrition, it's a time to go outside and get some fresh air. It's a time to return a phone call to a loved one. It's a time to stop and pause and take that physical break. We should use it for nutrition. You know, there's also some folks that will eat small meals multiple times throughout the day, taking breaks and lunches and not eating a big meal. Sometimes if we're going to be working on our feet and actively busy all day, that may be a better approach to lunch, but blocking the lunch. So the time is there. So it's not 3.30 and we go, I haven't eaten anything all day. And at that point, a package of Twinkies is a really good choice. But it's not. So we need to be a little more proactive. Anybody have any suggestions or ideas, things that they do in the category of lunch that can help us in this area? Contribution. Yes? <laughs> Pack it ahead of time. Yeah. Nuts. Okay. Shelf stable. Good. Start off with a good breakfast and you're not quite as hungry. And you hear a lot of different people tell, I eat breakfast every single day. I absolutely eat breakfast every single day. If you saw, I mentioned it on social media, probably early last week, I've had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for nearly 40 years. Okay? It's not a bad way to start the day. It happens to be something I enjoy eating, but it's good, you know, dense, uh, good for you, carbohydrate, a little bit of fat in there, a little bit of sugar in there, uh, but a not a bad way to start a day every single day. That a good breakfast is a good idea. And having a good breakfast requires planning ahead of time so that the morning is not a rush. You have the time to, whether it's pack a lunch, prepare a lunch, or be off and on your way in a healthy manner. Good. Anybody else? Yeah. As far as portion control, the Weight Watchers people tell you to get those little Ziploc containers. Yep. 
because they have them in like cup size, half cup size, two cup size, so you know exactly how much goes in there. Absolutely. Yeah, using using portion control devices, you know, plates, plates range in size. You know, what's a lot? And again, in, in, in food service, portion sizing is, is all of the map. Absolutely. Good idea. Was there a hand here? Um, getting one of those, uh, like, lunch pack coolers. I have a six pack mm -hmm. bag. So, it's, you know, if you don't have a fridge in your back room and just a microwave and no one's stealing your food, if that's a problem at your salon. So, I keep protein <laughs> shakes, everything. I, I mean, you know I what? If you eat really nuts. healthy stuff, no one steals so. your food. <laughs> that's true. No one would steal mine, actually. You know, if you bring Little Debbie nutty bars, they vanish.